If you're involved in a taxi cab accident in Manhattan, you're going to have a lot of questions. Hi, my name is Michael Redenberg, and I'm going to try to answer some of the questions you may have. One of the scenarios where you may have been involved in a taxi accident is if you were a passenger in a taxi. Now, if you're a passenger in a taxi that's involved in an accident, there are some things you're going to immediately want to try to do. Try to get the name of the driver of the taxi and also the license plate number of the taxi. If you can't because you were too seriously hurt and can't move at the time of the accident, don't worry because there will be, hopefully, a police accident report generated when the police arrive at the scene. If you were in an automobile and struck by a taxi and the taxi pulls to the side of the road, which they are required to do, make sure to exchange information with that taxi driver. Get their license information, get their plate number, and get a description of the taxi cab driver. When the police arrive at the scene, make sure that the officer takes down all the information of the taxi that hit you. Chances are that that taxi cab is insured with American Transit Insurance Company, sometimes referred to as ATIC as an acronym. Um, American Transit has a reputation for being very difficult um, in negotiating large settlements without going to trial. Yellow cabs in Manhattan have to carry a minimum amount of insurance of $100,000 per person injured and $300,000 uh, for every occupant in the taxi, sometimes referred to as 100-300 coverage. My name is Michael Redenberg, and if you have more questions about this, please feel free to call me.